Hi there. I have the evidence for you that the star Polaris and all of the northern polar stars are below my feet and the Earth is not flat. This is a star trail I did from my home in Australia. Yes, it's my own star trail. Here's the first frame right here and also the whole sequence showing the anti-clockwise motion of the northern hemisphere sky. I did it right here from the front door of my house facing north. And as you can see, I can't see Polaris. Now, here's the fun part. We take a star trail from the northern hemisphere where we can see Polaris. We then overlay my star trail so that the rings match up as best we can. And look at that. With my horizon shown just here, we can undoubtedly see that Polaris is way down there below my feet. My latitude is about 32 degrees south, a couple of hours drive north of Sydney, Australia. And anyone with a basic understanding of the Globe Earth model can tell you that your latitude is equal to the angle to Polaris. Or in my case, the angle to Polaris is in the negative because I'm in the Southern Hemisphere. And if we match up another comparison I did with a star map program called Redshift, we can see that Polaris is way down there, about 32 degrees below my horizon under my feet. Now, you want to see something kind of cool? Let's look around to my south. On the way, I'll show you a star trail I did looking east. If the Earth were flat, I'd expect these star trails to at least be curving around to the south, instead of rising up into my northern sky. And the sun and moon also follow that path into my northern sky. Okay, and here is the view south out my backyard. There's Sigma Octantis. 32 degrees up in the sky above my horizon. Sigma Octantis and the Southern Celestial Pole is always there, every night, due south, at the exact same direction as my friends in South America and South Africa see it, proving that south most definitely converges to a point and not outward like it does on the Flat Earth model. So, there we go. Polaris is down there below my feet. The southern celestial pole is due south for everyone in the southern hemisphere because the Earth isn't flat. Flat earthers often use camera tricks to make a boat or a coin disappear out of sight over a pretend horizon. But as I've just shown you, I made the entire northern sky disappear. Beat that, Flat Earth. <laughs> I made this video for my regular viewers to use against flat earthers that won't watch a longer video. I will try and make more of these. So to all of you, thanks heaps for watching and see ya.